Hey, good morning, Miami. It's awfully good to see you today. Um, I know we're on a two hour delay and um, we are required by the state of Indiana to give you guys a full school day. So what we're gonna do on these two hour delays is we're gonna work on our social emotional learning. We're gonna do some of that while we're at school too, but basically what that means is we're gonna help you figure out how to become that successful adult that you really wanna be. So we're awfully proud of all of you and you guys are all on great paths. We just wanna help you move on down that path by working on social emotional learning. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk a little bit about interpersonal relationships. Interpersonal, how do we get along with other persons? Interpersonal relationships. And um, I've noticed in the three weeks that I've been with you that most of you are pretty cool with this and you understand that your words have great impact and really influence how others think and feel. Um, but some of us are really struggling with how we relate to each other using language. Sometimes that comes out verbally in our conversations with people, or if somebody bumps into us and makes us mad, we may say something. Um, other times it's done through, well, through online sources or through texting. Um, it's really, really easy. I say this a lot. It's really, really easy to be mean with your thumbs. So today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kick this off and then Ms. Cappy's going to pick up and there's a really cool music video that she's going to share with you. But I want to talk to you about something that's called an acronym. An acronym, I'm a former English teacher. An acronym is a word that is made up from the first letter of other words. And the acronym that I'm going to share with you today, and you're going to get a hard copy of this probably this morning when you arrive to school, but you're gonna get a copy of this acronym. And it's something that I really want you to pay close attention to because we have got to get better as a school community. And quite frankly, we gotta get better as human beings at how we talk to each other. Even if you're strong, you can get better. And if you're struggling, this should help you a lot. So without further ado, here's the acronym. It's called THINK, T-H-I-N-K, T, -H -I -N -K. T is it true? Is what you're going to say or what you're going to type or what you're going to put into your device, is it true? That's the first check mark. Then H, T H, is it helpful? Is what you're going to say or write going to help the situation? If it's not, don't put it out there. The I stands for inspiring. Inspiring is based on the root word inspire and inspire has to do with being positively motivated if somebody says something inspiring to me i am fired up to do the right thing so is it inspiring then we get into n is it necessary is it necessary a lot of times we want to say something but it's really not necessary and i'm going to tell you what over the years, and I've got a lot of years in, over the years, a lot of times people mess up with necessary when they dip into somebody else's business. If it's not your business, it's not necessary for you to comment. And then finally, the K, this might be the hardest for some early adolescents. That's your age group. This one might be the hardest for some of you to grasp, but it's about kind. Is it kind? If it's not kind, don't put it out there. Um, you know, and we've heard since you were kids, your parents told you this, grandmas, aunts, uncles. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say nothing at all. That's what kindness is about. So think is the acronym, T-H-I-N-K, true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind. Now, we got a singer coming up here in a little bit, and Ms. Tappy's going to take it from here and introduce that video to you. She's going to talk about some of the pitfalls, the downside, when maybe you don't think before you speak or communicate. Thanks a lot, Miami. Take it away, Ms. Tappy.
All right, thank you so much, Mr. King. Like Mr. King said, the THINK acronym is going to be used so much now on at Miami, including your teachers, the administrators. You're gonna start seeing it all over our school because it's so important for you guys as students, but also us as an adult to practice this every single day. Every day we are dealing with other people and different types of relationships, and we are always using our words and impacting those relationships, whether we know it or not. So what we want you guys to do is continue to practice this. It's not going to be easy, and it's something that we need to consciously use every day. A lot of the times we will say things and we don't realize how negatively they can impact a relationship or even just another person in general. So the song we're going to listen to is Think Before I Talk, and it's by an um, artist by the name of Astrid S. And I really want you guys to listen to the song, look at the lyrics, and really think to a situation that you guys have been in where either you might have said something that negatively impacted another person, or maybe it impacted a relationship you have altogether. Or think about if you're in a relationship and someone did the same thing to you, and maybe they said something that negatively impacted you. So what we're going to have you guys do is listen to the song, and then when you guys get here at school, we're going to give you some handouts with the acronym THINK, just as a friendly reminder, and then also the lyrics, and we're going to do an activity in your first period class to kind of analyze the song and see how we can all relate together.